I spent the best part of yesterday um, experimenting with different ways of providing my rotary grinding tool with a water supply. The idea is that I want to try and take it to places like the beach hut and what have you and be able to grind quite hard stones using these diamond tools. The first thing I tried was this basin. I figured that the depth of it would shield me from the spray and it worked up to a certain extent but there were two problems. Firstly I couldn't see the lines that are drawn on the stone <laughs> and secondly it was very awkward to get in there and control the tool and you know see the lines and follow the lines that I drawn. So I then tried this more shallow tray and if you notice either side there's there's wood supporting the edges so I could rest my hands on the edge. And this definitely worked better. But it still wasn't ideal. It's still quite awkward to do. And again to have the water on the actual burr itself. I had to submerge it at which point you couldn't see the lines. Um, just wasn't that comfortable using this method and didn't find it work very well. So then I remembered that I had one of these. It's a camping shower. It's designed to hang from the awning of a caravan or a tent in the sunlight and it gives you a shower. So I just rigged it up outside on my table while I was working under my um, awning out in the garden. It's got a tap so you can control it on and off and you simply fill it up with water through the red filler there and you hang it from any available hook or beam or whatever and dribble it down onto the work and you can control the flow by turning the tap. And I was really pleased, it worked really well. There are a few initial problems, and this is very much a jerry rigged um, setup I've got here. And I'll try and think of a way of holding this pipe in a more sensible fashion. But as you can see, it feeds water. In this case, I was drip, drip, drip. Or if you want more of a supply, you simply turn the tap on more. There's a simple idea for providing a water supply to any situation. You could use this in a workshop or anywhere with no power supply at all. Thank you for watching. If it's of some use to you, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more about stone crafting and stone crafting machines, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you again for watching.